Power Apps does not have a built-in way to compare all records inside of one collection to all records inside of another collection. You can do it, but you just have to use a little tactic called concatenation. So uh, there are two different ways that we can go through and do this. One is to concatenate all the data in the columns, and the other one is to use JSON. So uh, to follow along, just go over to my website. I got the link down below. You can just click on the copy button, and then you can paste this entire screen into a Power App to try out the code yourself. Okay, so I have got two collections here. I have one that's called collection number one and another one right here called collection number two. Each one of them has three different columns, ID one and two. All right, and what we are going to be doing is adding a new comparison column, which is in this code right here. So to do this, I need to create a new collection and I need to use the add columns uh, function. Okay. So I'm adding column to collection number one, and I'm going to call that column concatenate one. And what I'm doing is I'm concatenating all of the columns that are in that collection together. And I'm separating by a, by a little pipe icon just to make readability easier for me in case I ever wanted to like actually look at the data. Okay. Down here, I do the exact same thing with collection number two. Okay. And then I make a comparison collection using the filter function. So I'm calling it collection compared. That's this guy down here. And I am filtering the collection number two with concat col by using the in operator right there. Okay. So we are doing concatenate number two and we are going to look for all of the uh, references or the data that matches in the colon column concatenate number two in collection number ones concatenate one okay so this down here is how you found or find the opposite of what this function does this one finds all matching items this one finds all all records that don't match just by adding in the not operator well, let's go ahead and test that out boom there's everything that doesn't match in between these two okay so let's take a look at the json come here JSON function, very, very similar, except for what we do is we just take the record that is inside of the columns, add column, and then we're just creating JSON out of that record. Okay, and in order for this to work, all of the column names have to match in both collections. If they don't, then it's just not going to work. Okay, uh, that's that. Uh, I hope I helped somebody out there. And hey, if you have any questions or anything, let me know down below. Go visit the site. Y'all have a lovely, lovely day. Thank you.